Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's JD, and we are back for another episode of Spider-Man. 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 Okay, yeah. PS4. We're here, and, uh, you know, before we get into this new mission, we're going to go right into these new suits that we have. So, we've obtained the Scarlet Spider suit. I think we're going to rock it for this uh, this episode. Also, we've got the negative suit, but we, have, we don't have the tokens to unlock it, but we will soon. Air tricks, <laughs> two XP. <laughs> oh gosh, what a waste! All right, we're here. <laughs> that sca Hi, Herman. scared the. Seriously. Give it up! You're never gonna catch me. That's what you said last time. That scared the. I don't want to hurt you. You will just blow me down. Wow, that's considerate. That scared the mess out of me when he came through. What's the money for, Herman? What do you care? Actually, I don't. I'm just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking. But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman. At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Herman? What? Do you only answer to shocker now? Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking. Noted. Yo. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Finally, jeez Louise. You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Well, that was easy. Except for the fact that it was extremely hard, and I'm terrible at this game. Well, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. <laughs> but you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. What are these cutscenes? Like, what? Looks are... like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you like... Sorry, I did not mean to ignore that. I was... Whenever? Yeah. yeah. Whenever, whatever. Yeah. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Alright, we're talking. Hi, Spider-Man. Here we... What the heck? Somebody said, Hi, Spider-Man. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Hi, Spider-Man. Who was that? Hi. <laughs> All right. These loading screens are my favorite. Is this a loading screen? What is this? My mans, how do you even eat with your mask on? What? What was that? Oh, we're back at the, uh, the what's it called? Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. 
Yeah, let's. Hey, How's all the science stuff going? It's going good. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you too, man. <sighs> all right, let's go see. What's Gucci with Mr. Lee? A I never used to feel safe with the other shelter. All right, here we go. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. He's too happy. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. No, no, it's gonna be like the mask. The symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Because I'm Spider-Man? Duh. Duh. Is that it? That was it? These little baby cutscenes, man, they be playing me. Uh-oh, phone call. Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Uh, no, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Maybe we can go get coffee sometime, MJ? <laughs> no, Tiger. No. No, we can't. No. Not if it's like Luke Cage's coffee. <laughs> Uh, all these custom outfits. The mask complete. All right, so Got we're just. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little Spidey work out in the city. All right, so he he's trying to get you to do side quests because he's like, don't just beat the game real easily. That's no fun. Do things that are entertaining. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Where's my main storyline? Hey. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> that was not the picture oh, I wanted Peter. to take. Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. I didn't get to say love you back, Aunt May. Flying Helix. Oh. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh. oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. Relax. You're better than this. He's <sighs> right. How did I lose track of time? Relax, Doc Ock, okay? I'm waiting for you to become a bad guy. Is this the one World Trade Center building? The new one they built? Jeez, look at that thing. That's crazy. Well, you guys know what we gotta do, right? We gotta do a free fall! 
Oh, so lit. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> that boy look like uh, the Riddler. Easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. Uh-oh. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. And look for a new arts nemesis. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. You should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. I thought he was about to say he tried to kill Harry. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Alright, let's see what's over there. Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Hey, oh, this is hey, it. I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's going to shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Oh, wait a minute. It's not going to pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. All right, open research. I'll do what I can to help. Open research stations around the city to earn more research tokens. I need those. Ah, yes. Yes. Beautiful. All right, so this is like, this game is just trying to get you into the mindset of, hey, uh, you might want to, you might want to do a, you know, you might want to do some of these side quests because the uh, side quests are pretty important. That's what this is. Alright, I'm ruining my sleep. I'm gonna go to bed, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this stream.